right, thank you, Abhi. Um, good afternoon, everybody. And I apologize that I guess I'm going to take up your break time here. So we'll, we'll try and keep this to 4.30, I guess. Um, but I'm, I'm Sridhar Sudarshan and uh, the CTO for the IBM Watson ecosystem. Um, so what we're going to spend the next 15 or so minutes here talking about, and we've, we've spent the entire afternoon hearing about a lot of the challenges that we're facing with healthcare just across the industry, right? So I'm going to spend just a couple minutes so seeing if we can uh, almost what it seems like summarizing some of the things that we've heard, but, but also if you think about the four key players in healthcare, right? The consumer, the payers, government, and clinicians. There's really challenges that we see across the board. Half of the consumers are not really satisfied when they walk away because they're not offered um, all treatment options. They're not given the opportunity to, make, take partic to participate in the decision making of their own treatments, right? And if you think about it from a payer perspective, there's about, it's about a five, almost a $5 trillion total healthcare spend in the next six years or so. If you think about from a government perspective, the amount of regulations, we, we hear about um, wearable devices, we hear about information coming from the wearable devices, we, we talk about how much of that is actually valid information, how much of that is noise, how much of that can be applied in terms of making decisions when you go into the doctor, doctor's office in order to try and get diagnosed in case you have you know, issues or symptoms that you're seeing, right? Um, if you think about from a clinician perspective, there's over 700,000 new literature, artic medical literature pieces that are being published every year. Now, do I want my doctor to be reading that? Or do I want my doctor to be spending time with me? Well, probably both. Right? But is it really realistic to expect the doctor to spend that much time keeping up to date on information? So it is really an explosion that we are seeing in terms of the data that is being produced, in terms of information that is being produced just across the board. Right? And one of the things that we have, um, we have over the last several decades, a lot of technologies that we've built over time around being able to at least understand some of the structured data that is being produced, right? Numerical data that is being produced. Even that, some would argue, is not quite as much as, as mature as it should be, as it needs to be, especially when it comes time to make sensitive decisions about you know, my health, for example, right? But if you think about 90% of the data that is being produced now um, is unstructured. Right? And 85% of the data is actually coming out, has been produced in the last three years. Data is being doubled um, every five years, almost. Right, right.